Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today, our continuation of the soft jaws. These are copper. We're going to scoop and fact these by increasing the coefficient of friction. How are we going to do that? We're going to add some lead. That's the beauty of copper is that it, uh, it solders nicely. Lead, molten lead, wets it. Now, here's the thing about lead. You can make a lead bearing, a Babbitt bearing. Uh, that's, you know, railroads used to run on Babbitt, but they were lubricated. Now, dry lead, what's been soldered to the parent metal, I think because it's so soft, when you clamp into it, it has a very high coefficient of friction. We're going to try and harness that. Right now, we got our old friend Bluey. We're going to hot this up and hit her with the rosin core uh, solder. The rosin core is the only stuff I got what's got lots of lead in it. All the other stuff you get at the homeless despot, it's all silver now. There's no lead. For some reason, lead is uh, persona non grata. Now, this will get hotter than a $2 pistol, so be careful. You're going to want some adult supervision. Make sure uh, you clean up all the clutter, uh, uh, fire danger, have your mother on speed dial, two condoms, safety squints, the whole. Here's the lesson you only got to learn once, the hard way. Uh, if you're smart, you learn it from somebody else. But if you're going to remember, in the shop, never pick anything up unless you know it is stone fucking cold. Because you got to consider everything in the shop is dirty, hot, and sharp. So that's why you wear your gloves, but you see, gloves wouldn't help me in this case. So you gotta consider everything is hot unless you know that it is not hot. While those are cooling down, we'll get those vice jaws out of here and we'll go over the program. This is where you uh, wind up that little monkey with the cymbals clacking in your head. Uh, here's the thing about the CNC. It's a pain in the arse until you get it set up. Then after that, it's just pushing a button and the thing spits out parts. If you believe that, I got a bridge to sell you. But once it is set up though, man, she runs like a alarm Tom did. So here's the program we ran this. This is the last program we ran yesterday. So today we're gonna run the same program and it just does the it does the um, that stop, that physical stop in the jaw for the, the parallel built into the soft jaw. What I'm doing is I'm adding here in the G92, I'm adding three thou. Uh, so that the table moves away from us three thou and I'm adding uh, two thou in the Z so the table or the tool stays off two thou. What that two and three thou is going to do is leave us some meat there for the lead to, to stick so we're not down to the bare copper. We're going to leave three thou of material lead on this jaw and we'll leave three thou of lead on this jaw and then two thou uh, top to bottom. So on the bottom jaw it will be leaded as well. Well, looks pretty grippy to me. We'll get in there, clean it up, we'll get uh, all the jigs all set up and we'll give her a test. This is test the third, test the second was invalid on account of I bottomed this out and I forgot to turn my uh, lapel mic on. So just consider this movie magic for a 200, 300, 400, 500, starting to move, 600 she gave away. So between five and 600, say 550, uh, with the fucked up gauge, 450. So right around where just straight aluminum jaws are. So if and you need copper for any reason, and there's also other drawbacks to copper. Uh, they, there's an electrolytic reaction with bare steel and bare copper where the uh, steel gets corroded much, much quicker. So you got to watch that. You, you want to clean up your chips anytime you're machining copper right quick, fast, in a hurry because they will corrode your machine. And then also copper vice jobs. If this had worked, I would have tinned them. But unless you need softer than aluminum, if you need copper, you know, yeah, it is stylish, but you really should tin them anyway so they just look silver. And there's really no better performance. You don't know until you know. And there you go. Now you know. So thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.